what, what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Nikita Brown was brutally assaulted by a Chicago police officer. Why? Allegedly because she was in Lincoln Park after hours walking her dog. That's it, fam. She wasn't shooting at anybody, wasn't fighting, throwing punches, insulting anyone. She was just walking a little pocket dog. That's it. What's a pocket dog? You know, little dogs, they're so small you can fit in your pocket. Yeah, some of these women put them in their purses. But anyway, fam, the law office of Salter Law PC, uh, they are aiming to get to the bottom of what happened. They are saying that Nikita was assaulted by this uncivilized dude because she is black. That's right. Good old case of racial profiling. Only in America, man. Boy, these American cops, boy, they got it down pat. They got that profiling down pat. The problem is uh, they pretty much profile in reverse oftentimes. While they looking over here, the action is over there. While they messing with somebody who ain't doing nothing, this person over here, is killing and robbing and doing everything under the sun. Now, some of you are saying, well, you know, well, she was in the park after hours. That ain't racial profiling. That's the cop just doing his job. Not so fast. You see, Nikita said that while she was in the park, that she witnessed at least four white people who was walking behind her in plain sight of the officer who was never confronted by the officer. He just focused on her. I wonder why. No, I don't wonder why. I know why. See, an uncivilized mutt, they lock in on that blackness. That blackness keep them up at night. For some of them, that's all that motivates them to get up out of the bed. Ooh, my life ain't shit. Ooh, I ain't shit. I'm ugly. My breath stink. I'm broke. Got a shitty job. Ooh, I hate myself. Nobody likes me. Can't keep a girl. Can't keep a man. Who let me go mess with somebody black? I swear to God, fam, that's all they got. For some of them, that's all they got. That's the only reason why some of them become cops so they can have some type of control over black bodies. That's right, I said it. I said it, I meant it, and a fight go with it. Now, let's get down to the person who recorded the whole incident. Why didn't this person intervene in some shape or form? Why? Well, number one, Police kill people, especially black people. So if that was a black person recording, easily they could have put their lives in danger. Now, it would be cool if you could just approach the police and make a citizen's arrest against an unlawful arrest uh, against a police officer who is stretching his authority. But that's not how it go. Even when they're wrong, even when they stretch their authority, even when they're breaking the law, the law protects them from you. Try to make a citizen's arrest if you want to against a, a police officer who is uh, clearly uh, engaged in misconduct and watch what happens. So you really have to take a calculated risk. What do you do? Think about the situation with all those people with George Floyd. Now, it would be great as a society if we can get to that point to where we do all just say, you know what, that's it. We gonna roll on y'all ass. We don't care if it's against the law or whatever, but y'all not finna keep on treating our people like this. It would be great 
if everybody could get on the same page like the people do in Brazil. Remember that time uh, the guy jumped out on the field, he walked out on the, ran out on the field. I think the guy, was he butt naked? No, I don't think he was naked. But the guy just ran out on the soccer field uh, and the police ran over and jumped all over him and started handling him real rough. And I think they were swinging on him or something. And, and all of a sudden, uh, one or two people came out of the uh, out of the stands. Then a few more people came, and a few more people. And and, and all of a sudden, the police were outnumbered. At first, the police was pouncing on you know how they, the game mentality. They all started you know first it was one or two of them ran after. Then the other ones came and and they thought that it was going to be some a routine kick ass police win again type thing. And all of a sudden, people started coming out the stands from everywhere. And everybody just swamped their ass, started beating it on them. Boom, boom, boom. Just smashing the gas on them. Next thing you know, they retreat. Because they don't want that. They don't want no smoke. They don't want that smoke when they're out number. So the people got the people got these unruly, dirty cops out number. What the people won't do is use their power. It remind me of that it was uh, this group of white men sitting around the table and black men were, it was black men underneath the table serving as the legs of the table. And these white men were playing chess. They were playing chess. And what the illustration was showing us that all the black men had to do is rise up and the game would be over. That's all they had to do. So that's all the people got to really do is rise up. And it's over. It's game over for these fools. Now, for whatever reason, that person who was uh, filming, maybe that person who was filming wasn't capable of confrontation. Because, you know, some people ain't built like that. Some people just are not built like that. They're not, they're not built for confrontation. They're not built right or wrong. Even if somebody was attacking them, they would not fight back. They're just not built like that. But at the very least, I'm glad they filmed it because without that film, then that would have been just another routine. He, should, he said, she said, and it would have been swept under the rug. So thank God, at least we got to see the video and that's evidence. And, you know, we can, uh, give this woman some type of justice because dude was dead wrong. You could tell the only reason why he was handling her, handling her like that. And I knew it was racial profiling when I first started watching it. I knew it was racial profiling before I heard the backstory about the four white people being in the park because I already know it. They got two Americas. It's two sets of laws. It's two total sets of laws. One for them one for everybody else. And then another for black people. I hope this sucker get everything coming to him. I don't know his name. But I know one thing. His mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?